My lovely, lovely imps, and those of you who are going to be watching this video in the future on my channel, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today, but what we have to talk about right now is an unbelievable, uh, uh, extreme, pervasive level of hate that has been uh, absolutely blasting from every single right-wing uh, social media uh, site, every single right-wing newsletter, and every single right-wing political and public figure uh, for the last couple of days. As many of you know, um, just this last Saturday, there was a absolutely terrible uh, tragedy uh, and terrorist shooting um, at a gay bar in Colorado Springs. Five people were killed. Uh, the assailant was stopped only um, when two patrons of the bar, one of whom was a trans woman and the other of whom uh, was a man who had uh, a history um, of, uh, of military training, interestingly, um, stopped the gunman and literally beat him within an inch of his life disarmed him and saved the lives of an uncountable number of patrons of the bar so that they could escape. Um, genuinely, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly based um, uh, and uh, 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 of those who fought to protect their friends and family at the bar. The shooting, of course, uh, was uh, uh, for in every way that we can tell, targeted at the fact that there was a drag event going on at the bar. Now, this drag event, of course, was completely legal. There was uh, no harm towards any person involved. It is simply a show in which people dress up in costumes and have a good time. Um, now, right-wingers for some time now have, have been sort of derangedly posting a lot of conspiracy theories and propaganda uh, targeted at trans people and also targeted at drag performers. Now, some drag performers are trans, but many are not. Um, and, uh, and of course, to anyone who knows anything about drag, to any person who isn't completely and utterly inundated by right-wing Christian propaganda, um, drag shows are, are, are generally incredibly tame. Um, sometimes they're bombastic, like people dance around and they have crazy makeup and they have crazy outfits and they do big dances and all that sort of thing, but they're very tame. It's just dancing. It's theater and nothing more. Um, and everybody who's ever been to a drag show would know that. Anybody who's ever participated in the extremely long history of drag, um, would know this. In fact, literally, drag, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race is a drag show that is one of the most popular television shows that, that <laughs> it's, it's clean. It's the cleanest show you can imagine. Okay? Um, like, at most, you might get a sexual innuendo or a joke, which, by the way, those are in SpongeBob. Those are in Courage the Cowardly Dog. Those are in, I know that show's not on the air anymore, but it's one that a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, the sexual innuendo is in, anim uh, is in uh, Animaniacs. It's in all kinds of things, okay? Um, <laughs> it's, uh, that's about it. Um, but right-wingers have gone completely and utterly insane. And I need to be 100% clear out the gate. And as we get into this, my case is going to make sense, but I need you to understand this. The right wing extreme faction of America, which increasingly is the only right wing faction in America, um, there is an increasing uh, gravity that is forcing all right wingers to either line up behind the extremists on the far right or to get out. And as it turns out, that's been going on for some time, seeing as how January 6th was happened years ago now. And that was a literal right-wing insurgent attempt to overthrow democracy. Now they failed, but it was a, an attempt nonetheless. And in that time, the right-wing has been consolidating and consolidating and becoming more and more extreme. And we're at the point now where for the last couple of years, the right-wingers have been uh, dumping out an unbelievable amount of propaganda specifically against queer people. And I need to be clear about this. It's because they want you dead. It's because they want me dead. 
and that is the that is the there's no ifs ands or buts about it when it comes to the the justifications they don't actually have any justification other than they think gay people queer people trans people are intrinsically evil and i mean that they will come up with post hoc rationalizations they'll pretend that it's about the kids what kids is always the question they'll pretend that it's about saving people they'll lie about all kinds of things and when they lie it is a lie you need to understand that they're not telling the truth about their concerns and even if they were they're still lying what it's really about is about moral domination it is about a, a group of people who want to say that all gay people, all queer people, all trans people are inherently evil and that they are inherently degenerate and that they are inherently worthy of, 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 of pain and suffering and in the end death. This is a rhetoric that has been going on and on and on and it has been most categorized by the recent push uh, to call all trans and gay people groomers. Now, it's a particularly heinous um, approach. I don't really need to explain this to all of my viewers, but because I know a lot of people who aren't my usual viewers are gonna watch this, I'm gonna take a moment to, uh, to, to explain why throughout all of history, ac f frivolous accusations of child uh, sexual assault, frivolous accusations of grooming, frivolous accusations of child murder and child rape um, have been used as a bludgeon. And uh, it kind of makes sense if you think about it for a second because people care about their children. In fact, it's pretty common that people's most important thing is their children for a number of reasons. Um, you know, kids need to be protected. Children do need help. They do need to be kept safe. They can be harmed. They're they're not fully formed humans yet. They're growing. They're still growing. Their brains haven't even finished develop. It makes sense why people uh, react strongly when they believe that their children are in danger. And that's why throughout all of history, whenever somebody wants to create a moral panic, whenever somebody wants to create and pay attention to this word carefully, a libel, okay? They target, they talk about children. They accuse, without evidence, X group of people of targeting children. This has happened to Jewish people. This has happened to native people. This has happened to black people. And of course, this has happened to queer people. Uh, it has happened, it has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. It is not a new tactic. However, it comes and goes in waves and it gets stronger whenever a uh, fundamentalist, usually very religious right wing faction wants to take power. They need to convince people that you cannot follow the law that you cannot take the time to actually investigate. They have to scare people into acting before thinking, before uh, into acting, before investigating, and into knee-jerk hatred. And what is the fastest way to get somebody to hate somebody else is to tell them that they're gonna go after your kids and harm them. And that's what they've been doing. This allegation of the groomer shit is nothing more and nothing less. It is specifically a libel targeted against trans and queer people of all types. It is Pizzagate had many similarities. It is a tried and true method that is as old as time. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people who know nothing about history. There are a lot of people who are already primed to be hateful. Um, and this groomer rhetoric has gotten out of control. It's gotten to the point where um, there is not even, many right-wing figures aren't even attempting to pretend that they're not just calling every gay person and every trans person a groomer. Now, there's a whole bunch of weird pretzel-brained logic that right-wingers get into to convince themselves that what they're doing is right. They will say things like, let me give you an example what we're about to look at here in just a second. Um, actually, I'll just show you. Let's just bring it up right away. Hold on, I'll just I'll just show you right away and we'll work from that. It's actually a little bit easier that way. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just bring this up, all right? Here we go. Behold, uh, Tim Pool, 
uh, one of the the one of the most popular podcasters in a world in the world. Uh, who calls himself um, uh, a disaffected liberal, which is the biggest lie that you could possibly imagine in your entire life. There is nothing about Tim Pool that even approaches liberalism. And trust me, I am not a fan of liberals. I'm a, I am a principled leftist. I do not really like liberal ideology, okay? But I want you to take a look at what he said here. And this is heinous. This is incredibly heinous and I'm going to explain it. You'll be able to see it immediately, but I'm going to explain it in full. Here's what Tim Pool says. We shouldn't tolerate pedophiles grooming kids. Club Q had a grooming event. How do you prevent the violence and stop the grooming? Now, Tim Pool here is referencing Club Q. Club Q was the club that I mentioned just a couple of seconds ago um, that was shot up this weekend. Now, Tim Pool, I want you to notice once again, one more thing before we jump into this. Let me just open up his profile real quick. Tim Pool lists himself as a journalist, okay? So not only does Tim Pool, is Tim Pool just a commentator, he has taken the a name for himself as a journalist, which journalists are supposed to follow in most places, a certain code of ethics, which you can be punished for not following. There was no grooming event at Club Q. That is, and let me just be clear, fucking insane. The idea that a highly popular public event in the middle of Colorado Springs would be a grooming, would well, like a, a, a public venue would have a grooming event is fucking insane to begin with. That in and of itself is, it, it beggars belief. How could, it, even the concept of it. But what's even worse is that he's not just lying on the level of like, I'm telling a big fish story that something happened. He's saying that an event that they did was a grooming event. Now, if you'd like to know what the event was, they had a drag event earlier on in the day um, which was an all ages event. What that means is there were drag performers and they were, and the performance was kept all ages. It was an all ages event because they were not doing anything racy or bad. It was an event for families to be able to go to and have fun. Now, I don't know if you know this because a lot of people don't, but there are a lot of people who are all ages who are interested in drag. Drag is not is not sexual, okay? There are drag events that, that have sexual elements, just like there are plays and movies and video games that have sexual elements. I mean, God knows. I mean, fuck, how many movies out there have literal sex in them? Lots of them. I mean, kids shows even make sex jokes sometimes, which is... You know, I don't I don't think that a sex joke hurts anybody. I think it's just a joke. I don't think it actually hurts anybody. Kids make fucking sex jokes. What matters is that children aren't harmed. What matters is that children aren't sexually harmed. There was no there was nothing at this event that could even remotely be called grooming. So why did he say that? That's that's where the truth comes out. The reason why Tim Pool said that is because he wants his followers and he has, I mean, 1.4 million just on Twitter, not to mention the millions he has elsewhere. He wants his fans to believe that queer people are pedophiles, that queer people are groomers. That is what is being said by his message here. There was no grooming event, that's absurd in the first place, but the event that did exist, he's saying it's a groomer. Just by being a gay person, just by performing in drag, you are supposed to, in his mind, become anathema. You are supposed to be thrown out of the world and you are supposed to be considered dangerous to children, which is fucking insane. That is a untenable position, that is a heinous lie, and it is a libel. You understand? Now let's look at this tweet again real quick. The last bit. How do you prevent the violence and stop the grooming? Now you might be like, well, that's kind of a weird thing to say at the end, right? 
Well, let's look at the original tweet that he was replying to. This is from right-wing uh, talking head Kurt Schlichter. Schlichter? Kurt Schlichter? Uh, I don't think we have to tolerate pedophiles because some asshole shot up a gay bar. Frankly, a lot of people trying to convince us that we need to tolerate pedophiles seem to be happy to use any excuse to silence our opposition. Now that's a very strange, deranged, and and uh, and odd thing to say, isn't it? Isn't it weird to say people are trying to convince people to accept pedophilia and then not provide any examples of it? Not provide anything? We know what he's saying. What Kurt Schlichter is trying to say is that gay people existing is pedophilia. That gay people are all pedophiles. That trans people are all pedophiles. That queer people are all pedophiles which is a fucking lie and a monstrous and heinous piece of propaganda that only has one result. When you label people as a pedophile, when you label people as child predators, there will be only one result, which is violence. Whether it's arrest, whether it is expulsion, like exile, or whether it is death, there is only one result violence of some form or another that will come when people believe their children are in danger. And believe it or not, it is not an irrational response to want to protect your children. Like I said before, the desire to protect your children is in and of itself rational. However, the claims are the problem. The propaganda and the lies are the problem. That's how it's being used. Now this messaging has been dumped out for months upon months upon months, years upon years upon years, often with literal fake stories. A great example of this was Tucker Carlson completely inventing a totally fraudulent story about a teacher that supposedly wore large synthetic breasts, which first of all, in and of itself is like, wait, what? But secondly, it turned out it was a it was a stunt. The person was doing it with the intention of getting the attention of C Tucker Carlson and other right wing news. It was a stunt. It was fake news. Now, they've been pushing all these types of stories to give people the idea that there are queer people lurking around all over the place. And what's the reason for that? The reason for that is because they want us dead. They do not care about the truth. They do not care about saving children. They want queer people gone. That's it. There is no other question, if, ands, or buts about it. They do not tell the truth. They do not care about moral consistency. They only care about winning. And winning for them means driving queer people away by one means or another. Now, Tim Pool here says, how do we prevent the violence and stop and stop the grooming? By playing equivalence between a mass shooting event which in which five innocent people were killed and at least 25 people, innocent people were injured at a location which has never done any sort of event that was criminal or otherwise at a location which never, of course, obviously never had a grooming event. He is saying that shooting is equivalent to a crime that does not exist. What Tim Pool is doing here can have only one result, which is blood. Tim Pool is inciting violence on the queer community. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There is no way to wiggle out of that. That is what this post does. And he put that out to millions and millions of followers. We already know that the shooter at that event was a right winger. We already know that that right wing, that that particular shooter had already had, had already been apprehended in the past and the charges were dropped. And interestingly, his case was sealed despite the fact that he threatened multiple people with death and threatened to blow up people. He had taken a hostage. There's actually video of that. I have a video we might even be able to watch later if you want to see more of it. I don't know if I want to show it on my stream because it will guarantee that my stream gets taken, taken down. But uh, this is a right winger. His family is right wing. He is right wing. He has given out right wing sentiments. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. 
What Tim Pool is doing is propaganda. What Tim Pool is doing is lying and downplaying and false equivalency. He's trying to say that the shooting had some kind of justification. It didn't. There was no justification. It was an act of terror and an act of hate against innocent people. And it's not the first one either. This is hardly the first, uh, the first one. In fact, just the other day on stream, we talked about, let me just take a look, can we see this? Um, on my channel, I've been talking about a lot of different things lately, but, um, but this, this, this tweet right here and all of the other people uh, who have been responding to it is a particularly, uh, it's a particularly shocking uh, level of acceleration. And Tim Pool isn't the only one, although he was the first and the loudest, or the first loudest, I should say. Um, we now have uh, basically every single right-wing commentator uh, talking about it exactly in the same way. The acceleration in rhetoric has gone beyond the pale. Um, and let me just, I, I wanna just talk about a couple of other things because um, I posted about it this morning and uh, even though all I was doing was criticizing Tim Pool, uh, and I happened to say that I'm trans on my profile, I had a flood of people in my comments calling me a groomer. It's very weird. Very, very, very weird uh, that all of a sudden, here we go, let's take a look here. Let's just take a look at some of the comments that flooded in. Here we have a random bot account. He didn't lie about anything. He said they're grooming kids, which they are. No, they aren't. There is literally, not only is that absurd, but there's no evidence of that whatsoever. Out of context nonsense. He was talking about the club the following day having an all ages drag event. If you have minors at drag shows, that is textbook grooming activity. No, it isn't. An all ages drag show is just people dressing up in costumes and not doing anything sexual. Drag shows themselves are not sexual. Very few drag shows are sexual at all. They're just people dressing up in fancy costumes. That's the history of drag is about the costumes. It's theater. These people are so brain poisoned that they've come to believe that a drag show in and of itself is toxic and harmful to children. What's the lie, says Augusto Pinochet on a white horse, a picture uh, with an account that has a picture of Augusto Pinochet and someone being thrown out of a helicopter. Uh, for those of you who don't know the history, Pinochet was a uh, dictator uh, in South America who was known for executing his political opponents who were leftists by throwing them out of helicopters. Interesting. Everyone listen to Demon Mama. Look at the crazy eyes. Always the sign of a, of a crazy person. Not crazy at all. Nope, not at all. Okay, so just calling me crazy. I don't know who this person is. Never talked to them. Now we go down to this. He's talking about this. I don't know what this even is. I don't even, this is just an image. This does not have anything to do with Boulder, Colorado, or uh, not Boulder, with Colorado Springs. This has, this is just a contextless image. What is he fucking talking about? Who knows? Brain poison. Put the SSRIs down. It, Tim asks, how do we prevent the violence? Hard to understand though when you're cosplaying Satan and snorting Xanax. Uh, and then we have, as we go down here, you'll start to see down here, you're gonna start seeing, oh, here we go, grooming. We have people say, oh, this was a whole conversation I had. I think we're gonna read through this one in a minute. Uh, you're a demon be gone. Leftists are always lying about grooming kids. If you don't like what he says, stop grooming. No evidence of grooming at all. They don't even seem to know what grooming is. Running cover for child abusers. You look like a demon and would definitely groom children. So we have another person calling me a, uh, a grooming children. You poor gaslit thing. Tim is right. We should prevent the grooming. But apparently you don't do plain English that well. Uh, then we have just a bunch of people. The more people down here. Groomers gonna groom with a conspiracy image. Just endless. 
And this is just on my post. I am not a big content creator. You know, I've got a reasonable size now. My streams pull in about, you know, 500 viewers, which is awesome. Love you, imps. Thank you. Keep supporting me. Press the like button, all that sort of stuff. Thank you very much. Love you. Um, I'm not a big channel. And I just mentioned it and nothing else. I just said, Tim Pool, this is fucking disgusting. You're calling for violence here. And I got called a groomer a million times. Now, any of my trans followers, all of you out there, you know you have people on social media, people you don't know, people who don't know anything about you randomly call you a groomer all the time. My comments are full of people calling me a groomer. Randomly. I don't know who they are. I don't know why they're saying that. I, no evidence ever. They just call me a groomer. My social media is constantly full of people calling me a pedophile, calling me a groomer, calling me this, that, and the other thing. Endless accusations of crimes. They, and th by the way, there's another meme. Let me tell you about this. Have you guys ever heard uh, uh, of the wood chipper meme? I'm gonna let you in on a little uh, on a little little right wing uh, little right wing hack here. Sometimes you will see right wingers say wood chipper. They'll just say wood chipper, or they'll post a picture of a wood chipper. Now you might not know this if you don't run into them a lot, but this is a reference to the uh, right wing idea that that pedophiles and groomers should be put foot first into a wood chipper. A disgustingly agonizing, torturous way to kill somebody that where you literally let their body be chopped up while they're still alive. This is a meme in right wing circles. I have had dozens of people tweeting wood chipper memes at me for commentating on this over the last couple of days. This is what they believe. They make the jump from gay to wood chipper. That's what they that's their conclusion. If you're a groomer or a pedophile in their minds, you deserve instant agonizing death. And they think all gay people and all queer people and all trans people are groomers. I don't know how I can tell you ever tell tell you my lovely imps and beyond everybody else who's listening to this who's not yet an imp but you should be. We have to get real. It's time to get fucking real. They are going the right wing is going absolutely balls to the wall with this allegation and they want people to die. They are baying for blood. They have convinced themselves that there is a groomer hiding behind every face that they think is different and they are going to kill innocent people in order to fulfill their internal fantasies. They are going to kill and already have killed innocent people. We have to be aware of that. Do you understand? Now, right-wingers have a number of concepts that they refer to. Uh, some of them call it the revolution. Some of them call it the day of the rope. Some of them call it the happening or the happening. Sometimes they spell it like that so they don't get caught. Some of them call it the boogaloo. They have a number of terms which refers to the day in which it will become okay for them to kill the pedophiles. This is very popular in right-wing spaces. If you don't believe me, just look it up. If you don't believe me about that, just look up those terms. Just type those terms into Google and go see how many thousands of examples you will find instantly of how popular these terms are in the far right, in far right circles. These people are convinced that it's happening now, okay? They are, the biggest right-wing accounts are now downplaying a fresh mass shooting of innocent queer people. They are sitting there saying, the pedophiles are coming for your kids, it's time to step up. They literally, yeah, the storm, the storm is coming. There's an, I totally forgot that one because it's so fresh. The storm is the one that Q uses. They all use some variety of it. The storm, the day of the rope, all of these different things, they're right-wing code words for, the re for a revolution. A right-wing revolution in which it will be okay to kill gay people, it will be okay to kill politicians they don't like. And I want you guys to understand, please understand this deeply. Right-wingers, have they function around politics differently than you do. And I mean this for liberals and leftists as well. Liberals are 
very by as as like a class of people liberals are very interested in the rule of law they're very interested in things following a procedure and being clearly documented right wingers do not believe in that right wingers believe in divine right they believe that god has told them that there is a certain way the world has supposed to be uh, the, the certain way the world is supposed to be and that it is their duty on earth to make the world the way that God wants it. And even not, by the way, even non-Christian right-wingers believe this. Um, even secular uh, right-wingers, they ultimately believe that same thing. They just substitute something else for God. It is their political system. They believe in a political system that asserts that hierarchy is natural and that might makes right. That is what makes somebody, or part of a, a huge part of what makes somebody right-wing. If you go and look up the actual origin of the term right wing, it comes down to the fact that they believe that hierarchy, that domination is a divinely imprinted part of our existence. They do not care about the law. They do not care about your logic. They do not care about your feelings. They do not care about your humanity. They are convinced, and this is increasingly true as they become more panicked and extreme, as the propaganda uh, urges them into a, a a frenzy as they are as they are excited by people like Tim Pool and Steven Crowder and Shoe on Head and Matt Walsh and Tucker Carlson and Chaya Rychik, aka Libs of TikTok. All of these people, just a few examples. There's many, many more. Alex Jones, formerly, they have been lulled into a frenzy. They have been, not, not even lulled is the wrong word, they have been driven, shocked, prodded into a, into a frenzy by having people literally screaming at them, saying, you're killed, the, the, the groomers are coming. No evidence. Now I can sit here and yell at this and I can show you these people doing this. I just showed you a guy with a with 1.4 million followers on Twitter alone, not to mention the literal millions of followers he has elsewhere, the hundreds of videos that he's done on this exact topic, alleging that there are grooming happening without any evidence whatsoever. Sock on left says, that's a bit off. I think that's a bit off. Modern conservatives don't think the order is divine, but rather the people who rise through capitalist society are uniquely capable of running society, though lots of evangelicals who make up the majority of the far right are explicit divine right types. Uh, that is a distinction without a difference, with all due respect. I understand what you're saying, but it doesn't matter. The, the, just because the modern conservative um, is like a Calvinist, uh, okay, let me explain this. Calvinism was a movement in Christianity that said that the argument within Cal Calvinism, this was, Calvinism was one of the most impactful in American Christianity especially, which is now, of course, in America, the most predominant form. Calvinism argued that all people were predestined for either heaven or hell, and your life on earth would show whether or not you were one of the chosen ones. So if you were successful and holy and good, that would prove that you true surely were one of the chosen ones who would be going to heaven. Now this belief influenced all of American history. Calvinism is one of the most, you can, and I, you don't have to trust my word on this, go read theologians, go read theological writers, and go even read Christians, they'll talk about it, how much Calvinistic belief affected America. So some conservatives who aren't personally super religious buy into a Calvinistic view of the world where people like Donald Trump, well, they're successful. He got elected as president, surely he must be the one. He did it, right? It's a meritocracy. At, this, at the end of the day, even though, they, like I said before, they've swapped out the figure of God, it's still the same. They still believe that essentially success is a divine blessing, that you are, that, that that is God or the divine or the powers that be indicating who is the chosen one who should be followed. It is a worldview of intrinsic domination. And yes, of course, the explicit Christians will say that Donald Trump was anointed, but um, it, it simply, and also the idea that the religious right isn't huge and that there isn't a massive movement going on right now. Uh, again, I'm not trying to roast you or anything, SDL, not even a little bit. Just keep in mind that Christian nationalism has exploded in the last five years. Uh, explicit Christian nationalism. We watched Trump rallies where, uh, where people like Doug Mastriano, who Doug Mastriano is a suit and tie Republican, um, but, uh, but 
he's a suit and tie Republican, and yet he's out there talking about, yeah, Christian nation. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. E oh, yeah, Christian, God, good. And doesn't, you know, go to church or anything like that. No, you're, you're not. I, that's why I'm saying I'm trying not to be combative. I'm just trying to be clear. Um, I grew up in an extreme right wing uh, church, a, a cult. Uh, I have a video about it on my channel you can watch. I've seen this shit unfold firsthand. I've seen how they operate. They don't, the, 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 the extremist fundamentalist Christians run the party. The party was built on their principles. Even if every Republican tomorrow was to be, was to claim to be an atheist with traditional values, it, they would still be doing the work of fundamentalist Christianity because the Republican party, the Republican worldview, the conservative worldview view was built to promote Christianity from the get-go and that has not changed. And it's interesting, if you go and look at the current party platform for the Republicans, um, they will you will see that in their state platforms, uh, they have way more extreme Christian values than they do on their federal platform because they know they have to reel it in a little bit on their federal platform. On this, on this very stream, uh, well, not today's stream, but on my show just a couple of days ago, we read through the Texas GOP's 2022 uh, state platform, which included uh, uh, gender segregation, which included explicit 100% bans on abortion, 100% bans on uh, HRT, and also included state-sanctioned uh, state and state-funded state, state -funded conversion therapy, aka torture against gay people. We have to confront the reality of the situation that we're in, which is that right now, the right wing of the United States of America has convinced themselves that this is the time for revolution and the targets that they are targeting is queer people. I cannot make it more blunt than what Tim Pool himself said just today, but we're gonna look at a couple of other examples just so you guys understand that I'm not just talking about, you know, Tim Pool's uh, obvious call to violence and Kurt Schlichter's obvious call to violence. Cause I've been, oh my God, there's so many examples. We got so much to talk about. Please watch this Tucker Carlson guest. Yeah, all right, let's watch it. Let's take a look at this. Here we go. Let's take a listen. I have not even seen this. This is a fresh react. Tucker Carlson guest. Here we go. Let's just watch it. Here, let's just react. I was just sent this. This was just from the other day on Fox News. Here we go. Let's enjoy. Right. I mean, it shouldn't have to be said, but what is anti-LGBTQ that these people need to understand and what is putting our community in great danger is, uh, you know, claiming that all of us support this and just associating all of us with this. Um, you know, saying that groomer is an anti-LGBTQ slur, that is doing irreparable damage to us uh, as a whole and is putting a... When every trans person, every gay person, every openly queer person on every social media ever gets called a groomer just for existing, it's a slur. It's a libel. And in fact, I like to use the term libel more because that refers to the blood libel. The blood libel being the big lie that has been perpetuated against Jewish people since thir the 1300s, maybe even earlier than that. The blood libel is a ancient anti-Semitic uh, conspiracy theory that Jewish people kill children to use their, cr kill Christian children to use them in rituals. Now, that might sound insane to you because, well, that was invented in in 1300s, but guess what? It came back again in 19 fucking 30. In Germany, there were people who were buying into the blood libel in 19 fucking 30. And guess what? There's people who buy into it right now and groomer is a libel. Let's continue really large target on our backs and unfortunately you know the tragedy that happened in Colorado Springs the other night uh, you know it was expected and predictable um, we all within gays against groomers saw this coming from a mile away yeah. and sadly I don't think it's gonna stop until we uh, end this evil agenda that is attacking children I how much more mask off can you get Tucker Carlson is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the current most watched political opinion show in the world. 
okay? This is a massive platform, and he has a woman coming on here, a someone who claims to be gay, gays against groomers, going on and saying, yeah, the shootings are just gonna keep happening until you stop killing children. But no one's killing children. There's no grooming going on. And in fact, it's really funny because all there, there are people who harm children out there. There are child predators out there, but you can't predict who's gonna be a child. Okay, actually you can, Republicans actually, statistically, statistically speaking, interestingly. Um, we'll not go there. Um, uh, but you can't predict who, even, even with that, you can't predict who's going to be a, uh, a, a, a child predator because child predation is independent from being gay. It's independent from being straight. It's independent from being anything. It's something that people do. It's an action, a, a horrible, heinous action. And it's funny because all the time that they're spending fixating on targeting innocent people, thousands of innocent people who've been targeted. The real, the real child predators are getting away while they're busy killing innocent gay people, while they're busy calling down violence on, like, can we just watch this one more time? Oh my God, hold on. Can we just watch this one more time? Hold on. Let's watch it one more time. Let's just play this back again. I wanna make sure, I want this to be driven into, seared into your mind so that 10 years from now, when we're looking back on, on, the, on, on, on a Holocaust again, you guys remember who was responsible. What the hell's going on here? There we go. Right. I mean, it shouldn't have to be said, but what is anti-LGBTQ that these people need to understand and what is putting our community in great danger is, uh, you know, claiming that all of us support this and just associating all of us with this, um, you know, saying that groomer is an anti-LGBTQ slur. That is doing irreparable damage to us uh, as a whole and is putting a really large target on our backs. And unfortunately, you know, the tragedy that happened in Colorado Springs the other night, uh, you know, it was expected and predictable. Um, we all within Gays Against Groomers saw this coming from a mile away. Yeah. And sadly, I. You wanted it to happen. You're, you're sitting here supporting it. It was expected and predictable. And you're saying that that's okay because they're grooming children. Even though no children were groomed at the club, even though there is never to anyone's knowledge, ever been a child so much as even heard at that club. There's no evidence whatsoever that a child has ever even been touched on the shoulder at that club. But you're saying it was expected. So what this person is literally going on national, no, no, sorry, international news to say is that innocent gay people expect to be killed. It doesn't get more blatant than that. Oh, here we go. This is a cool one. Do you remember Joel Koskin, the South Dakota State Senate candidate, Republican, who was arrested for child sex abuse? He got a plea deal where he won't serve any jail time or be deemed a sex offender, even though he raped his own child from the ages of 12 to 18. The SD, the South Dakota GOP, even gave him $10,000 for bail. Actual evidence convicted sex sex predator, convicted multiple serial child rapist, got bail from the Republican party. You wanna know why? Because they do not care about kids. They don't care about kids. They don't care about safety. They care about winning. They care about winning. They want God's kingdom on earth. That's what they care about. Let me just get a couple other things up here real quick, okay? I got a couple other things to show you, okay? Here we go. We're gonna read a little article together. Ready? Here's an article. Extre the extreme right is fully victim blaming the, cub the Club Q murder victims. Over the weekend, uh, our writer, Brittany Nupper, wrote about the horrific mass shooting, an LGBTQ bar. Uh, we know about that. We've covered that. However, 
uh, the, the reaction from the extreme right, which encompasses everything from Fox News to certain Republican politicians to professional online white supremacists in the wake of the shooting that left five people dead has been monstrous. They haven't just been deflecting. They've been crafting narratives to fully blame the club and the victims for the fatal violence in what was supposed to be a safe, loving, and joyous space for the LGBTQ community. The absolutely abhorrent YouTuber Tim Pool has accused the club of hosting a grooming event, presumably because they'd recently advertised an upcoming drag brunch. As a reminder, drag, like the very existence of LGBTQ people, is not inherently sexual. And it is literally only right-wing weirdos like Tim Pool that think that. Obviously, we talked about that already. Matt Walsh here, leftists here. I can just, let's just look at this, look right out. Can we just look right at that image? Yeah, we can, here we go. Here's Matt Walsh. Leftists are using a mass shooting to try and blackmail us into accepting the castration and sexualization of children. Insane. These people are beyond evil. I have never felt more motivated to oppose everything they stand for with every fiber of my being. Despicable scumbags. What do you think it means? For people who believe firmly in the use of violent force against people who they, who they think are dangerous to oppose everything they stand for with every fiber of my being. I'll tell you, it means they want to kill you. It means they think they should be able to kill gay people. People die and the first thing they think is, yes, we can use this as ammo against conservatives who don't think children should be exposed to drag shows, soulless demons, evil to the core, truly. What else do I need to say? What else do I need to say? There is no other way to interpret that than blatant justifying of killing. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're not even, their masks have come off completely. And keep in mind, this was within the last day. All of these posts, all of these right-wing, anti-gay, anti-LGBT posts, all of the conspiracizing, all of the literal libel going out has been in the last two to three days after the shooting. They, are go they have gone off the rails. The mask has flown off. They think it's time. Here we go. Here's another one. Let's take a look at this. Here's uh, Cold Feet Steven Crowder. Uh, Tim Pool says we shouldn't talk. This is the one with the Tim Pool tweet. And Steven Crowder says, strong legislation to protect children and an armed populace to protect themselves and their kin. To protect them from something that you've invented. You're accusing people without evidence of doing crimes that didn't happen. And they need to be armed so they can kill the people who are doing the crimes that don't actually exist. Again, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. What Steven Crowder and Tim Poole and Matt Walsh are advocating for is death. They are advocating for mass murder. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, you know what? Let's watch this one. Oh, is this a different one? Oh, look at this. We got another Tucker Carlson. Let's take a look at Tucker Carlson. One day after the Club Q shooting, Tucker Carlson devoted his entire monologue to the same rhetoric, rhetoric that is inspiring bomb threats at, a children, at children's hospitals and attacks at drag shows. Let's find out. Personally, Aldrich committed mass murder because you complained. About now, I want you to look right here. This image right here is going to become important in a little bit, okay? Remember this image, okay? Remember this image, all right? Let's continue. About the sexualizing of children. Sexually mutilating kids. Sexually mutilating children. The sexual mutilation of children, the sexuality of children, people. What Tucker Carlson, one of, if not the most popular political show in the world right now, is broadcasting is the idea that gay people mutilate children for some reason. Remember how I said the thing about the blood libel? about how Christians in like 1300s believed that Jewish people would sacrifice children to, for Jewish rituals. Remember how I said that was the, the blood libel, that's like a, a thing that's like been going for a lot. It's the same thing. This is the same thing. It's literally the same thing. He has no reason why, why are children being mutilated? No, they're just, your children are going to be mutilated by gay people.
Let's continue. Well, mutilating the genitals of children, running ads on Instagram promoting kitty porn, kitty porn, kitty porn, kitty porn. porn? It's an endorsement of kitty porn. They are not doing it for a scientifically defensible reason. They are doing it because they believe in a very specific religious ideology. That's true. It's happening. A specific religious ideology. Oh, I wonder what type of religious ideology he's signaling at there. They're sacrificing children for a religious ideology. Does that, s oh, wait a minute. That sounds literally, you know what? Let me just prove it to you. I just want to drive this home. Ready, everybody? Take a look with me. Bear with me here. Let's take a look. The blood libel or ritual murder libel, the blood accusation, is an anti-Semitic canard which falsely accuses Jews of murdering Christian boys in order to use their blood in the performance of religious rituals. Historically echoing old myths of cultic practices, it's a claim that is levied against Jews and was rarely attested to in antiquity. It was, however, frequently attached to early communities of Christians in the Roman Empire, re-emerging as Europe European Christian accusation against Jews in the me medieval period. Now, if you want to take a look, origins in England, oh, sorry, 11, 1144. In 1144, Jews in Norwich were falsely accused of the ritual murder of a boy who was found dead with stab wounds. William's hagiographer, Thomas of Monmouth, falsely claimed that every year there is an international council of, council of Jews where they choose the country in which a child will be killed during Easter because of a Jewish prophecy. They then abduct, uh, he claimed that the Jews then abducted and crucified William. It was turned into a cult with William acquiring the status of a martyr. This was followed by similar accusations in, Glo in Gloucester, Bury St. Edmunds, Bristol, etc. And you can scroll through this enormous article and you can now look at this. This is all the way up into QAnon. And it just. The citations are beyond belief. If you didn't believe me that the blood libel keeps coming back, well, look at this. Look no further than Tucker Carlson literally propagating almost the identical blood libel right now. That's true. It's happening. It's absolutely real. You're not imagining that. The ev Notice also that he keeps assuring people, yeah, don't look at any evidence. Don't ask for evidence. It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh, it's true. They're coming for your kids. They're coming for your kids. Ah. Evidence is everywhere and it comes to light on the internet. It is happening. You can't just make up a story because it suits your pre-existing beliefs. Are we jumping to conclusions? Don't think so. Anderson Lee Aldrich committed mass murder because Continue, though. We got more to talk about. We're not done yet. Let me bring up some more, okay? Yeah, I wanted to show you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh here we go. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Take, take a look at this. Take a look at this. It seems that around 10 p.m. Club Q posted they were having an all-ages drag show the next day. About two hours later, the shooter came in. People keep calling for wood chippers, and this is what happens. Lots of trees, so we need lots of wood chippers. Hey, remember what I said just a minute ago? Here's Tim Pool directly referencing the wood chipper meme that I mentioned before. Let's look at another one. Don't tread on kids with a picture of a wood chipper. Then we have a comment here. Hey, it stopped the drag show from happening. Here we have, babe, you can't keep posting wood chipper memes just because pedos are grooming children. Haha, <laughs> wood chipper memes go brrrr. I'm curious, does the shooter have a GoFundMe account? Here's another example. This was from a couple days ago. Damn. Looks like uh, it's not just recently that Matt Walsh has been up to this. It's time to throw the drag queen groomers in prison. The drag queen groomers? No actual evidence. No actual targets. Just drag queens. Just all drag queens. It would have been bad enough. It would be bad enough to falsely accuse one person of a crime, but just to accuse all people of a crime? Yeah, episode 1045 with uh, 
142,000 views on his episode that's titled, It's Time to Throw uh, Drag Queen Groomers in Prison. Oh yeah, here's another Tim Pool one. If you're claiming that groomer refers to all LGBT people, then you're calling all LGBT people pedophiles and inciting violence against them. Stop protecting groomers, stop inciting violence. You did this. You said that there was a grooming event at a at the at the fucking club. There wasn't one. You made that up. You did that, you fucking shit. Tim Pool is a genuine monster. Tim Pool is a nexus for hate. Tim Pool propagates death. Oh yeah, let me show you another one. Ready? Here's another Matt Walsh. Demonic soulless ghouls try to use mass shooting to promote child abuse. Then he has a picture of a demon with a big nose saying breaking news mass shootings. We're going to talk about everything related to that in just a minute in Furnitrix. You know this is then this is from his this is from the uh this is from the actual the the transcript of the video. You know this is focused on protecting children from castration and mutilation and sexualization. Literally saying that the, the shooter was justified in killing innocent people, completely innocent people, 25 injured, five murdered, innocent. But it's being done to protect children though. It's being done to protect children. I can't yell any louder about it, okay? I just, I literally can't, okay? I am a comparatively small channel. Thank you to all of you who are here. Thank you to everyone who's supported me. Uh, but I'm just one person with my small team of people making a tiny show on the internet. And by the way, I just wanna be 100% clear. I wanna be 100% real with you all right now. I have been stalked. I have been harassed. I have been threatened ever since I started creating videos, but specifically once I started gaining any sort of traction in this space. I currently have multiple stalkers trying to get information on me. Now, they haven't succeeded so far, and hopefully that will remain the case. But, uh, well, okay, they've gotten some information. They haven't gotten anything. They haven't found where I live or anything like that, which, you know, I don't think that they will. Maybe they will. But, um, but I mean, I have people right now, there are stalkers who stalk me online they're they they post daily and they post things that they dig up about my past they post people that i'm associated with the amount of hatred and for me i'm i yell about politics occasionally and i mostly play video games and and i get this i just imagine how much worse it gets for any trans or gay person who makes it a a little bit bigger than I do. There's not much, I can't yell any louder. We need everyone on board with this. We need everyone to be prepared to fight and protect trans people, to fight and protect queer people. Because this libel shit is going out of control. They are flying off the handle. It is un fucking believable the level of acceleration that I have witnessed in the last few days. But overall, the acceleration has been happening since before I started streaming. Uh, I mean, these people have never not been hateful. They've just gotten more and more blatantly hateful as time goes on. And I want you guys, the last thing I want to talk about is I want you to... Um, Someone, someone just DM'd me just now, right now, live while I'm producing my show. Someone just DM'd me to go on a debate panel about trans genocide. They want me to go on and argue with people who don't believe that my people are being killed. They want me to go subject myself to more insane.
I want you guys to think about where this can possibly go from here. Yesterday, or not yesterday, day before yesterday on my stream, um, we talked about the, the 10 steps of genocide. I want you to understand where we are. We are meeting all, almost every single one. The only thing that hasn't happened yet is that the right wing hasn't been able to seize control of the government, but they are certainly trying. I want you to imagine what happens if Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis gets in power in 2024, or what happens if they lose? We already know that last time, with no planning, off the cuff, Donald Trump successfully incited a coup attempt. Now the coup itself failed, but he got everybody to go. And that was with no planning. They did not plan in advance. They now have been planning this since the last one happened. They've been ramping up their rhetoric. They've been funding people. They've been getting guns into the hands of American patriots. What do you think is going to happen no matter who wins or loses in 2024? What do you think is going to be happening in the years building up to that election? What types of power grabs do you think is going to happen? Because I know what I think. I know what I can see. The violence is increasing. The violence has been increasing, which I have been yelling about for a very long time. The violence, the explicit acts, the mass shootings, the targeting of innocent gay people, the harassment of innocent gay people, the ruining the lives of innocent gay people and queer people and trans people. There's only one place that it goes from here.